Okay, you got it. Now get the flying fuck off my mountain. Wow. What a prick. Thank you for taking the mount battle challenge. Well, there we go. Mount battle is done. So, I just have uh, another 35 Pokemon to purify, one to catch and then purify. So next thing next is the time flute, this, the third time flute. And uh, as someone pointed out, I probably should have used the first one on the legendary dog. I used the second one on Suicune. Alright, well let's go and uh, purify another. We're back in, uh, is it called the Relic Forest? Uh, I need to use a thing, don't I use this? On Reiku. Hello Celebi. Haven't seen you in a little while. Reiku is purified. I assume using time travel. Doesn't it like revert it magically through time? It's got weird hooves, doesn't it? Reiku gets a nickname. There were two for this one, and the one I like is Rayhan. Kind of a pretty name. Well, pretty isn't the right word. Sort of cool. That was a bit of a quick fleeting visit, but the uh, the time flute sort of feels special enough to get its own little visit. So, I guess now I have the last Pokemon and then just just goddamn hours of off-screen purification. Oh god, I'm dreading it. Before I go do the final purification, because, oh god, it's going to be quite a thing. Uh, I just thought I'd follow up on an email. That email I got from, oh, I've already forgotten his name, Dishy. Dish? Yes, it was me that sent you that email. Why did you attack me? Are you doing this elsewhere too? Uh, yes. Grr, I thought you were a good guy. Boy, I was wrong. You're a lowlife. Uh, alright, I was kidding. I've got nothing to say to you. I was I'm not actually attacked. What do you mean by attacking people? I haven't been back here since I briefly popped in after completing the story. Welcome to Fennec City. Oh, it's you two. Hey, did you happen to see that guy running around the fountain get attacked? Oh yeah, people are always attacking him. They're like, stop fucking running, you billin... Bil what do they call him? A billand. I don't even know what that means. That's like a cross between a bellend and a villain. Oh. It's a really weird thing to call people. Kinda like it though. Billin. Yep. Oh. I was about to say I was kind of hoping that would lead to something, but... Another email? Who is this? Bit from the Under. Stop sending me pictures, Bit. It's Bit in the Under. Garen, I caught you on film in an unbelievable scene that's terrible and shocking. What's your problem? Why are you attacking people with a shadow togetic? A. How do you know it's a shadow Pokemon? You can't see shadow Pokemon. You just They just look like Pokemon to you. B. Why would you put the subject as who is this if you're sending me a photo of myself? Oh yeah, that does look a lot like me. And that does look like something I'd do? But I didn't do that one. Huh. Alright. I guess preemptively, because I don't know how the episodes are going to pan out, any suggestions for Toga Tick, please give me those. Also, I haven't yet had any suggestions for Ursa Ring, but I've had suggestions for every other Pokemon, so Toga Tick and Ursa Ring, please. Alright, question. How did you get to Fennec to take that photo and or who in Fennec is sending a child photos of me? I was shocked when I heard the word on the street, but Garen, I know it wasn't you. I believe in you. Um... Why are you attacking people? What's your problem? Your words, bit. You cowardly lying little shit. Wow, I'm so aggressive today. I'm so sorry, Rui. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think I'm just tired. Tired and daunted by having to purify another 36 frickin' Pokemon. On the plus side, that is only six more runs through. I say six more runs through. Each purification is like two runs. So we're talking, 
it took me about an hour to do the first six, hour and a half, so we're talking six, six to nine hours of purification, on double speed, that is. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing all that off screen. Oh my god, another email. I just want to pure, well, I, I don't. Watch TV. It's me now, please watch TV now. Oh, why is, why is there a fucking TV? I The only two pl TVs I know of are one at the outskirts stand and one in, is it the mayor's house in Fennec? I'm not going back to Fennec. <sighs> Watch TV here. There have been reports of another Pokemon attack on people. Here is the shocking footage of the harrowing attack sent by one of our viewers. The footage was... I'm sorry? What am I looking at here? The footage was sent by a brat in the under, fucking hell, who declined to reveal his identity. So, Shadow Pokemon appear on film? So you're sort of obsolete now, Rui, aren't you? What, 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 what do you mean? I could just get a video camera and... and no longer have to escort you. Why are you being so mean, Garen? Maybe you are the person attacking people with a shadow togetic. After all this time, Rui, you can't tell when I'm joking. No, no, I really can't. Alright, I was joking that time. Really? Yeah. You don't mind? No, just get out the door. Apparently going to Mount Battle triggers email, so let's go back there again. Shocker, it worked. Ah, uh, don't be from one of the ch- oh my god, Ned. Fucking hell, Ned. It's me, Ned, please watch TV now. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's almost as bad as fucking platinum. Lol, no, it isn't, not even close. Uh. This is the shocking footage of a Pokemon attack on people. Viewer discretion is advised. We bring you this story from the outskirts stand with an exclusive scoop from a video- f uh, okay, two questions. One, why is the Togetic so tiny? And two, I was literally just outside and I got contacted about a live broadcast. So no, this isn't live. This is not happening right now. Wow. Okay, apparently I missed all of this on the way in. This is rookie reporter Ansha, live on the scene, a shocking new development has emerged. Just when the battle ended, another shady man appeared, and he looks exactly the same as the other shady man. We have two shady men. What's going to happen here? I, Ansha, says Ansha, will remain on the scene to bring you this breaking story. Well, shady am I? Oh my gosh, while I bring you this report solo, the sinister man is approaching me. Aye. <laughs> Hey man. Oh hey, it's you. You creamed me. Uh wait a stinking second. Why are there two of you? Am I dreaming again? Uh Hi. Foo foo foo, the resemblance is uncanny, hey? You are me and I am you and we are all here together. I can see that you don't understand, but there is one thing certain. You're going to battle me. Shady guy. I'm not shady guy. Murderous guy, maybe. Sort of weirdly intense with the weird line face. Maybe, but not shady guy. First of all, swapping Mignite out because I guarantee he's about to get hit by at least one electric attack. Lol. And flamethrower to try and take out that Manectric. And... Oh, bloody hell, I love Typhlosion. It's just so good. Admittedly, it does have charcoal on it, but still, it is just so good. Oh, beautiful. I was genuine brain failure for a second, then it's like, but I don't have a Gyarados. How did I send one out? It would be cool if it mimics your team. That would be really nice. Ooh, fucking hell. I didn't see that coming. I should have, but I didn't. 
It would be really cool if you mimicked your team apart from Dusk and Dawn. Or mimicked them including Dusk and Dawn. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I suppose there's no way for it to know that you'd have, like, what you'd have. You might just show up to this battle with, like, crap Pokemon. I don't know. That Milotic is too dangerous. Let us take it out, my god. Safeguard. I don't know what that does. I think that protects them from status effects. Or is it from skill, like, stat reductions? I don't really know. I've never used it because... Why would I? Really? Thank you, Gyarados, for using Earthquake. That allowed me to knock out Milotic in one turn. And Midnight leveled up. Cool. Houndoom. I do have one of those. That Gyarados is probably going to knock out Dawn. Yeah, that Gyarados is probably going to knock out Dawn. Or oh, Houndoom is. Yeah, that that that's equally likely. Bye-bye, Dawn. Oof. Yeah, this is tougher than the bloody Mount Battle Master was. Dusk. Because I might just have to use uh, Toxic on something. This should do a fair bit to Houndoom. Obviously, it's not going to do much to Gyarados, but... Okay, that that is disappointing. Really disappointing. Ooh, full restore, you shady git. Ah, uh, who's that on? Uh, spring Rain. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, and I was focusing on Gyarados this turn as well. I'm definitely going to have to use Toxic, because Spring Raid is not going to hold on another turn. Bobo Spring Rain. Maybe I should have healed you. I don't know. I've got better Pokemon. Oh shit, no I haven't, they're all knocked out. Eek. Come on Midnight, you're better than High Noon. Which is not high praise. <sighs> oh shit, status effect, defense, buggery. Alright, well, let's take a hand in first. And I've just realized there aren't many battles left. I think this might be the last one in which I can actually use um, items. I don't know whether you can use items in battle mode. Huh. This is also the last Pokemon, so I'll be using that... Uh... Oh, nice. That was a good hit. Oh. Oh no. Ah, that's alright. At least it wasn't high noon. Alright, safeguards faded. Good, 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 good. Uh, right. Oh my god, he's still got four fucking Pokemon left. Christ. Let's deal with that Houndoom. It's just too much of a threat to Dawn. I wouldn't be surprised if Gyarados also had Bite, but Houndoom is just too powerful. Armaldo. That's another tricky one. Strength. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's okay. You have asked for this. My stellar team. My top two lineup. My best Pokemon. Let's fuck them up. Psychic. Yeah, nice one. Top form. And Dusk leveled up to 65, and Dawn is very close to 66. It's only level 20. Jeez. Okay, sure. It's also very, very small. I thought it was taller than that. I thought it was at least a couple of feet tall. Oh, I suppose it is probably only a couple of feet tall. I don't know. Poison Armaldo. Set the clock ticking on you. Although he does have full restore, so it's entirely possible he'll just heal him when he gets low. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay, Togetic's part flying. 
I'm not worried about my Pokemon, I'm just worried about him knocking out the bloody valuable Togetic. I don't know what happens if it gets knocked out here. I've never ever seen it get knocked out here. Huh. Well. I guess there is only one thing for it. Togetic gets the Master Ball. Um. Actually, swap that round. A Snagsta Ball. That sounds weird. A, a Snaggy M Ball. A snag and ball. A um, mmm. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it for the last time in the series. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, I'm so glad it caught it. I was worried for a minute. And our mount, I just teleported. And he used a full restore. Cool. So I now caught all of the shadow Pokemon in the game. Um. I, I don't know if it's too late for you to give suggestions. It probably is, because I'm probably going to have purified a lot of them by the time this video goes out. But I'll try and leave uh, the Ursa Ring and Togetic till last, just so that there's sort of enough chance for you to come up with suggestions. Shady Guy Garen. It would take me to do it. Good going. What do you mean it would take me to do it? Are you talking about me? Ah! My name is Fine. Actually, I think it's pronounced Fane, like faint. You know, like a fake thing. I am the master of disguise. How do you like the job I did? Your reputation is totally trash. <laughs> nah, people have always called me shady. Oh my gosh, the perpetrator of the attacks wasn't this trainer, but an imposter. This is a major scoop. It's a huge break in the story. Yeah, you're on live TV, you pillock. Uh, gotta hand it to you, guy. It's tough to beat the real thing. Uh, yeah. I just got what he meant. He wasn't saying it's tough to beat me. He was saying it's tough to beat the real thing, like, you know, sort of cliche thing. I'm going to leave and never come back. It's been fun. Oh my god, oh, what did I predict, like, what was it, six to nine hours or something? I have now purified every single Pokemon and it took, or at least, you know, got them ready to be purified and locked. And yeah, that was probably at least eight hours, probably longer. Uh, I did find some cheaper tricks, like um, the cologne case. I say cheaper tricks, what I mean is tricks. Because, as you can see here, I have no money left because I spent it all on cents and a hundred grand of money bought me enough for about five Pokemon worth of cents, if that. So, anyway, uh, this should be the penultimate episode if I'm timing it right and planning it correctly. Next episode should be the finale in which I will purify all the Pokemon and then conquer battle mode. Uh... I hope you like the way I'm going to do it. It's going to be a bit weird and different, but yes. This is your last chance, your last episode, where you can give me suggestions for names, because um, in a few days apart after this airs, I plan to record the purification, in which case all of the Pokémon will be nicknamed and it'll be too late. So this is your last chance, and I promise I'll do something better in the next one, but I'll talk about that another time. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for your suggestions, and I will be back with the finale of Gary and Reaver vs Pokemon Coliseum soon. Probably not very soon because I do have to do all of that stuff I said, but still. Catch you later.